my name's Elise, and I'm going to be talking about responsibilities. Responsibility is doing something yourself that you're in charge of. It needs to be done. For example, making your lunch and cleaning your room. These things have to be priorities. Things you usually do before some, something more fun. Example, playing outside. Environmental responsibilities. There are positive and negative ways we affect our environment. Negative ways like driving instead of walking, even when you can walk for a two to five minute walk instead of driving. That would be a better way than driving, because driving can cause CO2 to come up, which is bad for the environment. Also, we have tons of factories all around the place, and we mine for coal, which is not good, because we're digging up our earth instead of using renewable energies, which I'm going to get to now. There are also positive ways we can affect our environment, like picking up rubbish even if it isn't ours. You should definitely try this. If you can, please try to get renewable, use renewable energy over things like coal and petrol because they help our environment much more. They are like wind, sun and water, solar panels, wind turbines and hydro turbines. This is all human impact. You can choose the way you want to affect our world. You can affect it in positive and negative ways. Now, let's get on to personal responsibilities. Personal responsibilities are like getting yourself up in the morning, making your bed, making your breakfast, and getting to work or school on time. Organizing yourself. But they're also like being responsible when you're crossing the street. Make sure you're not being silly when you're crossing a street, like stopping and holding up all the cars, maybe trying to cause an accident. You could injure yourself and other people. This is not good. You can grow, grow your mind by being responsible for yourself. Every step of the way, you get more responsible as you get older. Personal responsibility is what you can do for yourself. Being responsible for you. Doing so something for you. Not for anybody else, but for you. Okay, so now we're going to talk about school responsibilities. There are different ways about being responsible at school. For example, you could be responsible for your friends and your social life. So, that is like making sure you're being kind, considerate, and helpful to other people. Not trying to be mean, being a bully, and hurting other people's feelings. This is not cool. That's just me. That's just being a nice person to your friends. Also at school, you're being responsible for listening, learning, and being respectful in class. So that is looking at the teacher, listening to the teacher, or other students who are talking. Not talking over them, and make sure you're always trying your hardest at school. Not being silly, playing around, or doing what you're not supposed to be doing. Also, when you're at school and you're using electronics, it's important to know that you should be respectful to the electronics you are given and be responsible using them. So, not being silly, being on the set task that you're told to be on. The right app and the thing that you should be told, and the app that you were told to be on. Not, you know, like playing games on it or taking pictures of yourself when you're meant to be doing mathematics or study ladder. Also, you have to be a responsible learner. That is like making sure you're not getting other people in trouble when you could get when and you're being silly to make other people be get distracted. You're responsible for yourself and making sure that you don't distract others as well. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed these slides.